Hello guys, Ace here and this is Nice Get Media. I trust you having a good day. Now, how do you use addictive drums in Pro Tools? Now, by the way, I have a video on how to use addictive drums in Fruity Loops just in case that's your favorite DAW. Now, if your DAW is Pro Tools, this video is for you. How do you use addictive drums in Pro Tools? Now, I'll just show you how to make, make use of that in Pro Tools. Let's go. Straight to the video now. First thing first, you have to create an instrument track. Here we have one ready, a stereo instrument track for that matter. Now, just in case you tried uh, uploading your, your drums, for example, you bring it into your channel and then the drum is up and you're trying to play. For example, you click on this ones and you can't hear the drums just as in this case. Now, a lot of the time is because uh, somewhere along the line, like under your instrument here, you know, when you come down here, you find this one instrument. You can take it off, toggle on and off, bring it back. Let's bring it back because we need to use it. Now, you somewhere here, maybe it's not enabled. So you just have to find a way to do this. I'm using a third party software to access my addictive drums. That's why it's like this. Okay, first thing first. Uh, now we is enabled, so we should be able to hear it. Let's do this way. We have beats. I love this very one here. This master groove. Let's bring it to the channel. So you click on this. Okay, bring it straight to the channel. The instrument track that you created earlier on. All right. So that way you can, you know, as I explained earlier, you can view this as a kick. Okay, this is what exactly we have on the channel. The drums, okay. All right. Now, by the way, let's go back to what we we're doing earlier. We have it, we just brought in here the master funk. Now, let's see what we have. Let's play, you can. Okay, that's it. Now, that's a bit from Addictive Drum straight to your instrument channel in Pro Tools. But however, you can still manipulate this. Double click on it, let it open. When you come this way, you can now say, okay, fine, I want to make this beat my own, <laughs> right? Fine, Master Funk was good, but this is how I want it to sound. This is a kick here. You can hear the kick. Now you can decide to say, okay, fine. I need to take out this last kick here. Okay, take out this other one here. Okay. This is just me manipulating the beat now. You can do it how, whatever you want. You can be creative with it though. So you say, let's see how it goes. It's around when you say. All right. Now this is just you being creative with the beat. However, you can do a lot of things with addictive drums in your Pro Tools. You can decide to create more channels. And then when you're done, you still come straight to this other part here where you can route these channels. Like when you click here, when you open up this channel, you can decide to create some more channels like wave audio, sorry, audio channels, mono channels, whatever matter that you click on all of this, you separate out, then you route them, you record them separately so you can, you know, edit. Now, if you want me to uh, make a video on that, I can actually explain further on that one but for this uh, video how to bring in additive drums into your Pro Tools this is just how to do that in case you enjoyed this video you can give me a thumbs up like this video subscribe so we can make more videos thank you guys for being part of this be your best